While he was once Mayor Barrett's competition, she has seen Mayor Barrett's rise to power. Both curious to see what is next for the city of Milwaukee. Tiffany Haynes joins us live and you spoke with Marvin Pratt and Thelma Sias about Mayor Barrett's legacy. Shannon, both said they were surprised, but they congratulate the mayor and respect his 17 years in office. As for what's next, they say more work needs to be done. 17 years ago, Marvin Pratt became the first African-American mayor in Milwaukee. Pratt was common council president at the time. Mayor John Norquist stepped down. But Pratt's time in office was short because he lost to now Mayor Tom Barrett. Oh, yeah, I regret losing. Yeah, I mean, um, um, yeah, I don't think about it as much anymore. My goal was to be, if not the best alderman there, one of the best. And I think I achieved that. 17 years later, he's not bitter. I could sit here and easily be very critical. I'd rather not be because I know that... Uh, there's so much coming at you as mayor. So, so many people want uh, a number of things, and it's it's, it's very, very, very uh, difficult position. Now, if Barrett is confirmed, Common Council President Cavalier Johnson will be the second African-American mayor. Pratt says this time he thinks the city can elect a person of color. Thelma Sias agrees. We can indeed elect an African-American to be the mayor of the city. Is that what you want to see happen next? I'd like to see that happen, yes. Her role at We Energies put her in the room with Mayor Barrett many times over the years. There have been times when um, what I saw as a vision was not the same thing he saw. Uh, but oftentimes we came to closure about how close we could get. She thanks Barrett for everything and credits him for things like downtown development, the DNC and the Bucks but says now's the time to do more. As excited as we are that we won the NBA championship, we've got to take that same kind of en energy and focus and commitment and rid this community of the concerns around poverty, racism, and the ability to educate all of our children. Thelma Messiah says she's optimistic, and now it's up to us, the voters, the taxpayers, to be open to what comes next in the transition and the election. Marvin Pratt thinks the election could be a crowded race. Live downtown, Stephanie Haynes, TMJ4 News.